Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Magli here. Today I have a great full body sequence for you, really working on the mobility of the hips, the shoulders, and also giving ourselves a great old stretch out to create space for bump and the breath. You will need a blanket in your practice to help cushion the knees and also a couple of blocks I highly recommend, but you may or may not need them. Grab your bits and I'll see you on the mat. Starting standing, so coming to the top of your mat, we'll make our way back, but I'll stay facing you for now. Feet hip width apart, a little bit wider, whatever feels comfortable for you. Let's start with some rolling of the shoulders back, getting into the body, saying hello, good morning, good evening, whatever part of the day it is for you. Amazing, okay, let's step the right foot in front of the left and then reach both arms up towards the sky, grab the right wrist with the left hand and pull on the right wrist with the left hand. Take a big breath in here. <sighs> Amazing, making sure that we're not sending the arms forward. We wanna keep the chest open, maybe even lift the gaze towards the sky, this may challenge your balance. You want to open the right side body as much as possible. Beautiful, let's release the arms and then swap sides. Right foot back down, left foot in front, reach both arms up towards the sky, grab the left wrist with the right hand, take a big breath in as you reach over towards the right side. Hmm. It's starting to get a bit harder to send the breath to the belly in pregnancy and in the back body. So we really want to try and open the side bodies, the sides of the rib cage, as much as possible. Let's take one more breath here. <sighs> and release. Amazing. Let's reach the arms up towards the sky. Big breath in. And then fold forwards. Big breath out. Maybe you widen the stance of the feet a little bit and invite you to come to a ragdoll position, perhaps allowing the hands to sway along the earth or maybe grabbing opposite elbow to opposite hand. No tension in the neck. And if this isn't comfortable, maybe you place the hands on the knees. And you give yourself a little swing side to side here. Whatever feels good in your body is exactly where you should be. Okay, if the feet have widened a little bit, let's bring them a little bit closer together. So beneath the hips or perhaps just a little bit wider, we're gonna to come to a chair pose. So bending the knees, sitting the bum back and then bringing the hands to heart center. Beautiful, waking up the glutes and the legs of the body here. And let's start to pulsate. Allow the belly to just Feel a bit heavy, sending the breath there. You don't have to squeeze it, hold it in. Making sure the knees are behind the toes. Beautiful. Three more breaths here. Stay with me, you'll feel it burning in the bum, in the glutes and the legs. That's exactly what we want. Glutes, strong glutes really help support the pelvis and the core in this time. Okay, lengthen the legs, take a big breath in, reach the arms up towards the sky. And a big breath out, reach the hands to the earth and then let's step the feet back to a downward facing dog. <sighs> Beautiful, pedaling it out through the feet, bending the knees one at a time. If downward facing dog isn't comfortable, tabletop or child's pose is absolutely perfect, wherever you're at is amazing. Really pressing the hands into the earth, find that push action so we're not sinking the energy down. Tailbone to the sky, lengthening one leg at a time, really getting a nice stretch in each hamstring. Beautiful, okay. 
Let's find a happy neutral position, stillness just for one breath. And then let's bring the knees down to the earth, find a tabletop, and then let's find a child's pose. Beautiful. Maybe you need to give bump a little bit more space so you widen the knees. And then you can also create a pillow with your hands and place the forehead on the pillow. <sighs> Just taking a moment here to gather your breath and gather your thoughts. Perhaps the mind is busy and that's okay. <sighs> I invite you to check in with yourself. Take this time to ask yourself how you're doing, how you are physically, how you are mentally, how you are emotionally, and how you are spiritually. No judgment, no condition. <sighs> if you feel like you have any stagnant air or energy in the body, feeling free to sigh it out. Let's take two more breaths here. One more. Amazing. Let's press into the tops of the feet, come up to a tabletop position, take an inhale here, tuck the toes under, downward facing dog, Exhale, we're gonna continue with this movement. Inhale, down to tabletop. Exhale, child's pose, beautiful. Two more, big breath in, send the energy up. And then exhale, press tailbone to sky. Let's make our way back down. Knees onto that blanket to cushion the joints and child's pose. <sighs> Beautiful. One more time. Tabletop, downward facing dog. These movements are really good to help the core stabilize the pelvis. It's a really passive way of working the core muscles, the pelvic floor, and back down. Amazing. Let's come back to tabletop position. And then from it, tabletop, let's extend the left leg behind us. Beautiful, really pressing the heel away from our space. Crown of the head reaching forwards. We want to use the glute, to, the bum muscle, to bring the leg up a little bit higher rather than rounding in the back or arching the back, I should say. Pausing here, let's give our ankle a little rotation, bring some blood there, blood flow. And staying with your breath. Be mindful of not opening the hips. <sighs> Beautiful. Okay, from here, let's bring the left foot on the outside of the left hand. And then that right foot is going to come over towards the left side of the mat. I should face the other way, really. Let me just switch a roo. Okay, and then let's prop ourselves up. Amazing. From here, we can place the hands wherever they feel good, really. And we're going to give ourselves a little gentle rock side to side, getting into the left hip. <sighs> Gently. And maybe it feels good to pause. That's absolutely fine. Perhaps we prefer the movement. See if you can find that balance between ease and effort. What does your body need today? What can you give it? Beautiful. Let's reach the right hand towards um, the earth. Lengthen the left leg and then reach the left fingertips towards the sky. So here is where you may need a block. You can place it underneath the right hand for a little bit more elevation, yogi's choice. And then option to stay here, option to reach the left leg up. And again, we wanna make sure that we're not opening the hips and the navel up towards the sky. We want to keep the navel facing forward or the side, I should say. Beautiful. Take one more inhale here. 
and exhale, release. We're coming back to face the front of the mat. Perhaps you take your blocks with you, or yours are probably at the front, it's because I've swapped. And then let's come to a half splits pose. So framing the front foot, send the tailbone back and lengthen the front leg, so that left leg. And again, maybe you don't need the blocks. Maybe it feels good to help elevate the body a little bit, give bump a little bit more space. We want to keep the left toes up towards the sky, tailbone reaching back. And notice if you're rounding in the back body, feel free to elevate yourself completely if you need. Amazing. Let's take two more breaths here. Beautiful. Let's shift the weight forward and then come back to our downward facing dog. And again, we're in downward facing dog, but if that doesn't feel good for you, child's pose is amazing. I'm just going to swap myself back so I can stay facing you, my wonderful, wonderful mama. Beautiful. Two more breaths here. Feel free to pedal it out through the feet, bending the knees one at a time. And then let's bring the knees down to the earth. Beautiful. Let's keep the toes tucked under. Bring the feet together. Bum onto the heels. Take a big breath in. Reach the arms up towards the sky. Big breath out. Release the arms on the low back. Fingertips face down. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Shine the heart up towards the sky. You may feel this in the toes immediately, and that's okay, that's normal. Maybe a sign that you don't spend a lot of time walking around barefoot. See if you can find that lift of energy instead of sinking the energy down into the feet. Let's take one more breath. And release, exhale, find your tabletop. Let's tap, tap, tap the toes, bring some blood back. Okay, we're gonna do the same on the right side. So from tabletop, Shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. Let's reach the right leg back. Heel presses to the back of the space. Crown of the head reaches forward. Using the glute to help lift the right leg a little bit higher. Pausing here, perhaps rotating at the ankle to help with blood flow around the ankles and the calves and third trimester. Oh, boy, am I feeling it. <laughs> Amazing. One more breath here. And then let's bring that right foot on the outside of the right hand. Beautiful. Left foot can come over towards the right side of the mat. And let's prop ourselves up on that left knee. And again, hands can go wherever feels good. Maybe on bump. Maybe you even decide to close your eyes. Rocking side to side, getting into that hip, making sure the knee is going in the same direction as the toes. And these simple movements are really good to help with the mobility of the body in pregnancy. Making sure that our muscles stay moving, stay active, but in a gentle way. Amazing. Okay, let's reach the left hand towards the back of the mat and then lengthen the right leg, right hand towards the sky. Again, option here to use a block to elevate the body a little bit so there's a bit more space. You can go even higher if you like. Really finding that root to rise action. Left hand pushes into the earth as you reach the left fingertips towards the sky. And you have the option here to reach the right leg up. And again, making sure that we're not opening the pelvis. We're reaching the outside of the right leg up. You may feel a little bit of cramping and that's normal. <sighs> the glutes are really taking a lot of the weight at the moment to help support bump, support the pelvis. So it's normal to feel a bit of cramping around that muscle. 
Let's take one more inhale here. And release, beautiful. Let's come back to face the front of the mat. Frame the front foot and then fold over the front leg. Right toes towards the sky. Let's, whew, I'm just going to reach back for my block. Beautiful. <sighs> Making sure to work with your range of motion. You may be a little bit higher. You may be completely folded over. And you may even need to bring the right leg out to the side a little bit to make space for baby. And that is perfect. Remember, this is your body, your practice. You know yourself better than anyone. Let's take one more breath here. Amazing. Let's shift the weight forward, hands on the mat, and then make our way to downward facing dog in our own time. Beautiful. Pedaling it out through the feet, bending the knees. <sighs> okay, let's take one inhale here. One exhale here. Let's bring the knees down to the earth and then child's pose. Press into the tops of the feet, inhale, come back up to tabletop, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. This is such a good whole body mobility movement. Inhale as you bring the knees down. Exhale, child's pose, beautiful. One last time, up and down. Up towards tabletop, remember that your rhythm may be different and that's great. Exhale. Downward facing dog, really pressing into the hands. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, child's pose. Pause here. Two breaths. Sending the breath to the back body. Imagining with every inhale that the spine is lengthening, getting longer, you're getting taller. Beautiful. Let's come up to tabletop. And then from here, let's grab our blocks. You may not need both, or you may need more. I'm going to face you, but before I'll show you, we're going to bring the knees um, a little bit closer together like this and then the feet out to the side. We're going to place the blocks in between the feet uh, and then we're going to sit on the blocks. Beautiful. So this is really good if you suffer from tight ankles and tight calves, especially in those later stages of pregnancy where the calves are acting as a sort of trampoline for the blood being sent back up to the baby. I'm going to take a moment to pause here. I invite you to close the eyes. <sighs> Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Hands can be anywhere that feels good. This is also a really good position to help relax the pelvic floor muscles. <sighs> help relax the core muscles. We're so used to engaging them, but it's just as important to learn to let them go, give them a bit of a break. If you're feeling any pain in the knee, if this is a bit much, you can either elevate um, the bum by sitting on an extra pillow or blanket, or you can actually place a blanket all the way in between the legs to help create that space in between, um, on the underneath of the knee a little bit bigger. Two more breaths here. If there's one posture that you do every day, this is it. That and squats. <laughs> mm. 
Beautiful. Let's give our shoulders a little bit of a stretch out. I invite you to blink the eyes open. We're going to place the left arm in front of us and then cross the right arm on top of it and then twizzle the arms, maybe the backs of the hands touch, maybe palm to palm can touch. Let me just give you a different view. So left arm, right arm, twizzle, touch. Elbows reach up, palms of the hands, or hands I should say, reach away. Let's take a big breath in here, reach the elbows up, lift the gaze, exhale. Chin to chest, beautiful, once more. <sighs> Amazing, let's take a big breath in, reach the arms either side. And then exhale, let's bring the right hand out in front, right arm, left arm on top. Twizzle, palm to palm, or even back of the hand is absolutely fine. Elbows reach up, hands reach away. Take a big breath in. Shine the elbows, the heart, the gaze up towards the sky. Exhale, chin to chest, rounding the back once more. Big breath in. Big breath out. Reach the arms either side. Inhale. And then find tabletop position and downward facing dog just to stretch those legs out before we make our way back down to the mat. Stretch the knees out. Beautiful, let's bring the knees back down to the earth. And then I invite you to make your way to a comfortable seat, whatever that may look like for you. So perhaps this is a cross-legged position. Maybe this is kneeling, whatever works. Feel free to sit on a pillow, blanket, block to elevate the hips a little bit. We wanna encourage the hips to stay higher than the knees. Beautiful, let's roll the shoulders back. And I invite you to close the eyes when you're ready. Let's bring chin to chest, left ear, left shoulder, chin, chest, right ear, right shoulder, chin, chest, left, left, once more each side, chin, chest, right, right, chin, chest, bring it back up. Pausing here, staying with your breath. Just taking a couple of minutes to allow the energies of the body to settle, to allow the breath to settle into the body. With every inhale, you allow the belly to expand. With every exhale, you notice that the belly contracts back to help push the breath out of the body. Just gently, we're not forcing it. Two more like this, big breath in. What are you calling in? What are you letting go of? Coming back to natural breath, maybe you place your hands on your belly, on baby. Take a moment to tune in, to listen to what the body's telling you. Can you feel any sensations beneath the surface of the skin? If there's anything you'd like to communicate to baby, I invite you to take this time to do so, whatever it is, however you're feeling. Know that they can take it. They're there with you. Whether it's nerves, anxiety, fear, that's okay. Let them know. 
And if it's joy, pride, love, compassion, share it. Let's take a big breath in. And a big breath out. I invite you to bring your hands to heart center and bow the head to close your practice. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me today, Mama. This is an amazing full body sequence that you really can do every day just to get the whole body moving and breathing. If you enjoyed this video, it would mean the world to me if you gave it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you on Tuesday with another one. Lots of love. Bye.